So you want to follow along on a tutorial video on Blender, but I want to show you a few little things that are not obvious inside Blender. So last video we covered uh, some of the basics of the interface, and now we're going to cover how to navigate the 3D viewport. So middle mouse button, you really need to have a mouse with three buttons. The scroll wheel, uh, when you press it, is the middle mouse button. So if you hold down the scroll wheel, if you click it with your finger and rotate the mouse, you rotate the view. If you press shift and middle mouse, you pan the view. You can move it up, down, left, and right. And notice that this is dependent on the direction the camera's facing. So left and right is relative to the facing of the camera. So it's going to act very differently depending on what direction your camera is facing. It won't always move to the right on the x-axis. Now it will, but if I'm facing this direction, it won't move right on the x-axis if I drag to the right. So that's how to move your camera. And the next thing is objects. I've clicked on a cube right here, and the cube is an object. We are in object mode. First thing I'm going to show you is, let's go with grab, is G for grab, and let, lets you move this around, G for grab. And now something happened here that may not be obvious. I moved the cube down. I didn't just move it left and right, I moved it down. Now if that's not what you wanted, if you wanted to only move it left and right and not change the Z coordinate, you can hit grab again, you can try to put it back but you're going to see it's very difficult to get it back to the center. So of course I can reset. If I go away in here, cube, transform, you can type in 000, but let's do something a little different. So G for grab, and now because I'm, oh, what did I just do? I clicked on Z right here, and that gives us the overhead view, and now I'm panning so I can move G to grab, I'm going to put that as best I can in the middle. You can zoom in and G to grab again. If you hold down shift, it gives you some better control. So I can try to put it there. Um, it's pretty close to the center. Again, if you want it perfect, you should go in here to change the location. There's other snapping ways to do it, but I'm not going to cover that here. Now I need to move it downwards. So I went to the side view. Again, if I try to move it down in this view, it's going to be pretty tricky. You can, um, and I can isolate the axis, the z-axis, by pressing z. So there are ways to do this, uh, but I want to show you how to move the camera to accomplish this. So now when I press G to grab, now I'm moving it up and down. Of course, it's going left and right as well, so hold down shift to get more precision. Now I've put the cube pretty close to the center, good enough. Actually. Almost got zeros here. All right, so that's how to grab. Rotate is R. And when you rotate, again, it rotates. You have to imagine a plane that you're looking directly into, and it rotates in that plane. So this is the result of that rotation. I'm going to undo it. If I look straight down one of the axes and rotate now, try to rotate about 45 degrees. Now I have a different rotation. So however the camera's facing is dependent, uh, determines the way it will rotate, the way it will grab, scales a little differently. S scales, uh, unless I click, unless I click one of the axes, it scales on all three axes. So the scale is the only operation that's not dependent on the camera's orientation. And you can scale up, scale down, etc. All right, we made a lot of changes and I want to reset it. So good news, I clicked right here and I can just reset the transform to 0, 0, 0, rotation 0, 0, 0, scale, don't, well, I'll go 0, 0, 0 on the scale. What happened? It shrunk down to nothing. 1, 1, 1. There you go. So we got our cube back without doing undo. Undo is super useful and if you don't know control Z is undo, it works in most programs on your computer. And if you're on a Mac, whenever I press control, I believe that's your uh, Apple or command key. Uh, but I can undo these things I did, and then control shift Z is redo. So that's a nice way to undo, to go back to a previous state.
just to warn you, you can't undo everything. For example, if you uh, move this over, if you change the way the uh, viewport looks, you can't undo that. So there are some things, and there's other things you can't undo also. I don't want to go into those now. So we are in object mode. We're going to check out edit mode next, but the last thing I want to show you in object mode is duplicate. And you do that with shift D for duplicate. And again, this is dependent on where your camera is aiming. And if you look, I duplicated it, moved it down a little bit. Now, if I want to duplicate the original cube, shift D, now I'm only going to move it on the X axis. Um, if I'm not careful, I'm going to change the Z coordinate as well. If you look up, at the upper left, uh, up here I'm trying to move the mouse, you can see the DZ, DX, DY. But for now, I'll just approximately put it over here. And now when we change, we rotate the camera again, you can see that I was able to duplicate the cube, move it to uh, the left. And maybe I want to duplicate the cube and put it over here. So I'll look straight down the axis again, Shift D to duplicate, and I'll put it right over here. So now I've made a couple duplicates. But again, trying to make two things line up right next to each other is really only possible in uh, when you're looking down one of the axes to do it. So now it's pretty easy to take this cube and move it to the right height, the right Z value, and now they all have approximately the same Z value. There's other ways to change the Z value, like typing it in and other snapping ways, which I don't want to talk about now, but feel free to look up videos on setting up snapping. I will say it's right here and you can change your options.